my dear colleagues and uh, students i welcome you to my video number 322 in which i am using uh, e views to check stationarity of uh, time series data in econometrics i strongly recommend you to watch uh, my video number 321 in which i discuss the theory of uh, station stationarity and non stationarity of time series data and uh, in this video uh, in the current video i am going to uh, discuss and show Uh, how to check uh, stationarity and uh, unit two testing in um, EVUs uh, using uh, ADF test. So uh, let me start with the the definition once again. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, most of macroeconomic time series are uh, non-stationary at level. However, ninety-seven uh, percent of them are uh, stationary at the first difference. That is, they are uh, integrated of order one. Uh, in economics many variables have stable long run relationship like uh, the relationship between consumption and income prices and wages uh, prices at home and uh, prices abroad so we can think of uh, um, co integration among uh, various series uh, but in this particular video i'll uh, focus on checking stationarity uh, once again i would like to define uh, stationarity and there are three different uh, senses in which we use uh, stationarity the first one is the mean of a time series xt is the same for all t and uh, sometimes the mean may be written as expected value of uh, xt or uh, mu for simplicity purpose secondly the variance of the series xt is the same for all time t sometimes the variance is uh, written as variance of xt for simplicity purpose in other words variance of xt is constant and the third requirement of stationarity is that the covariance and also the correlation between xt and uh, xt minus 1 is the same for all t so these are the three requirements which are uh, required for uh, a series to be stationary stationary that is the mean of the time series must be constant equal to mu the variance of the series must be constant equal to sigma square and the covariance of uh, the series xt and uh, xt minus 1 is the same for all t so this is the definition of uh, uh, stationarity uh, before i show how to check stationarity uh, let me remind you uh, to subscribe this channel and uh, uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about my uh, videos that i'll upload for you now i will uh, open uh, e views and uh, in which i will show uh, how to check stationarity uh, let me open my data file Here is the data. Uh, since I am using time series data, so I'll uh, click on this variable in which I have uh, some data. Uh, I have a number of uh, variables in this. Let me show. I am using a uh, exchange rate of pakistan rupees in terms of uk pound and uh, us dollars so let me open both uh, the series as a group and uh, i'll show you the data uh, this is the data for the uk pound and this is the exchange rate of uk pound in terms of pak rupees and this is the exchange rate of uh, us dollar in terms of pak rupees and uh, the data Uh, starts from january 1957 and uh, it goes up to 2022 uh, third month that is march so this is a uh, a big file and uh, it has a a large number of observation so let me show how to uh, do this so let me close this and uh, i'll uh, open 
this again here is my time series data and this is the data file that I am just using for eviews. Uh, let me open this this one UK pound and open and uh, this is the data uh, this uh, starts from 1957 January uh, till March 2022 so a large number of observations are there now let me show the graph of uh, the series to you and uh, I'm interested in line and uh, symbol graph so if you look at this graph initially the exchange rate was stable up to this point and then again there was a slight slight uh, decline and again and after that then there is uh, an increasing uh, trend in this uh, exchange rate so this uh, data is a uh, uh, seemingly uh, non-stationary. Now let me check the exchange rate of Pakistani rupees in terms of dollars and this is the data. I will click on view to see the graph of uh, the exchange rate and uh, here is the graph of US dollar in terms of Pakistani rupees. Again there is uh, a straight line and this may be because the previously the Pakistani rupee was uh, linked to dollar, but it was delinked in uh, 72 or uh, 73 and uh, after that uh, there is an upward trend in the exchange rate of Pakistan and uh, rupee has been uh, depreciating against dollar. Now I would like to show both the graph in one diagram uh, so that you can check how the two graphs look like so view and then graph and uh, I will click OK and uh, both the graphs have an increasing trend so these two series are not stationary okay so now I will check stationarity of both the series one by one so let me check this one I will uh, just click on UK pound and open and now I will view the unit root test here in this small window uh, I will check this level and first I will check a unit root uh, test of this series using augmented decay flow test and if I press OK the probability value is 1. So the, U, the null hypothesis is that UK pound has a unit root and we don't, we fail to reject this. So this data is a stationary, uh, this data is non-stationary, it has a unit root at level and uh, I will check it again uh, using trend and intercept both, trend and intercept and again the p value is 0 0.99 so we fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis that uh, UK pound has a unit root. Uh, we may also check uh, unit root uh, with none that is neither intercept nor the trend and again the probability is 1. So it means that this series has a unit root it is non-stationary at level. Now I will check this unit root uh, at first difference and I start with none and uh, you know the p probability value is 0 0.00 so we reject the null hypothesis and now this series has become stationary uh, by taking uh, the first difference now i will check stationarity of uh, this series using first difference with intercept and uh, again the p value is 0 0.00 so we also reject the null hypothesis and uh, we conclude that uh, the UK pound has a unit root at the first difference level and uh, finally I will check unit root test at first difference using trend and intercept both and uh, 
the probability value is 0 0.00. So, in all the three cases, that is uh, no intercept, no trend, intercept only, uh, trend and intercept both. Uh, when we take the first difference of the UK pound uh, exchange rate in terms of pack rupees, then uh, it is uh, stationary, but at level in all the three cases, it is non stationary. Similarly, I can also check the US uh, dollars in terms of rupees and uh, let me check its unit root at uh, level uh, with intercept only. The p value is 1, so it is non stationary at level. And if I check it again with both trend and intercept, uh, the p value is 1, so we fail to reject this null hypothesis. Now, let me check it uh, unit root test uh, with the first difference and the intercept only. Uh, here, the p value is now 0, 0.00, so we reject the null hypothesis and now it is stationary at the first difference level. After this, I will check unit root at first difference with both trend and intercept and uh, the p value is 0, 0.000. So, uh, we reject this null hypothesis and uh, it is now stationary. Now, I will show you the graph of uh, the UK pound and US dollars at level and uh, with the difference and uh, let us see how the graphs look like now. So, here are the graphs of the four series and I will compare. Now, you see both the UK pound and the US dollars, these series are um, trending upward, uh, but at the first difference level, the, both the series are stationary around the mean of uh, 0. So, it means that when the time series are at level, they are non-stationary, but when we take the first difference, then they become stationary and this is how we can check stationarity using ADF test in e-views. Uh, I hope this was uh, quite helpful for you. If you like this uh, video, you can uh, uh, click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about uh, my other videos and uh, kindly do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.